it's Herb Vargas here. I'm doing something today that I've been really excited about for a long time. Um, and you can see him right in front of my Converse cabinet. It just goes on forever. Ooh, got quite a collection. Anyways, Converse are cool. So I'm going to give you uh, a glimpse of the tools I'm using and then I'll give you a guess on what I'm going to be doing. So uh, yeah, we'll go to that right now. All right, so if you guessed um, uh, doing drugs, you're wrong. Uh, doing drugs is bad. Stay in school, kids. Don't do drugs. Um, and now I'm not performing surgery. So what could these tools be used for? It's verification. All right, so I've got some chemicals here and some tools here. If you're not dizzy yet, sorry. Um, okay, so the chemicals I'm using are sodium alginate and calcium chloride. And so sodium alginate is essentially... Um, Sorry, shaky camera, I need to get myself a tripod. I'm just using my phone. So, um, sodium alginate it is a seaweed extract of sorts, um, and it's used for cool gelling of sorts. So, um, anyways, I'll explain the chemicals and I'll explain you the process and what it actually does. So, sodium alginate is just kind of like a congealer gel type substance, and then calcium chloride is just a salt. Um, and salts, everyone knows what salts are. So you mix them together and they make uh, like gel type balls. It's like a polymerization process. I don't pretend to be any type of scientist. I've taken science classes, but that's about the extent of my knowledge. But this is something I've been really excited to do for a while. Um, my mom's been, uh, she has this weird obsession with uh, popping boba. I don't know if you've heard of those. They have them at like sweet shops for frozen yogurt places and whatnot as a topping. And, um, right, so we're going to be using myriad of methods in order to, uh, to make our own toppings, essentially, for, uh, like, ice cream and whatnot. And I'm going to be using Jones Soda and a couple of other juices just to see how they work. And then I'm going to test a couple of different tools to see which one will make the best type of popping boba, I don't know, gel balls, whatever you want to call them. Um, I don't know if they have copyrights or whatever. Right. It, they're cool things that pop in your mouth and taste good. So... Um, we'll uh, get to that now and I'll talk about the proportions we'll be testing with and see uh, what, what we come up with. So well, let's get started. All right, so um, right here I've got my juice um, and it's a one cup of juice and I'm going to mix in one teaspoon of sodium alginate. So super technical, I know. Um, pour it in and then we'll mix it all up. And a lot of people will use a blender. I might actually do that because this isn't very effective because of how congealy it is. So I might do that next. But um, yeah, so pretend that I've mixed that. And then once that's all mixed up, then you get two cups of water. Um, and then you put in the same amount of calcium chloride, just one teaspoon. You mix it in there. And then it'll dissolve a little better than the other stuff does. But you mix it all up. And then once it mixed up, I'll show you how, uh, how it works. Alright, so now that you've got it about the consistency of a bogey, you've uh, probably done it right. And then uh, some people will want to wait about 24 hours and let the bubbles settle. And that's probably a good practice, but I'm too lazy, so I might just do it now-ish. But um, yeah, so once that's all mixed up and mixed in with the other one, then we'll move on to actually making the spheres. Alright, so um, now it's all mixed up and I think I'm going to uh, try it out. So I've got my baster thing my bubble here and I'll just squeeze it in. Oh yeah, lovely. Okay, and then you just stick it over here and just drop it. And it should make like, yeah. It's a nice little, oh, it looks terrible. Um, anyways. Okay, so that looks okay. They're kind of large. Um, I'm going to try a syringe next, probably, since uh, it depends on your preference of size. But now we'll get our little... Um, I'm using a tea bait, a tea... what do they call them? Infusers. To grab it out. Um, looks like they've congealed quite nicely. Just... Yeah, you can just grab them all out. Or you can use like a strainer of sorts. I don't know, I'm just using this for testing right now. Um, but yeah, so... Yeah, they're nice and squishy. Feels like a bogey, but it's liquid and 
on the inside. Um, yeah, so you can see that it kind of looks weird just because I didn't wet, let the bubbles come out, but if you let it sit for about 24 hours, it'll be clear in the middle and actually look pretty good. So, um, yeah, let's see what it tastes like. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. So, um, anyways, we'll try it with the syringe next. Alright, so here's our test with our syringe. Um, I don't know, it's a flavor injector or something. I don't know what they call them those. These days I don't really use them for what they're intended. Um, yeah, so some people will actually want to create larger ones that are like the size of ping pong balls or so. And because there's a larger proportion, it seems like this is a pretty thick uh, sodium alginate I've got. Um, I might actually, might have been better for me to use about half as much. But um, yeah, so I'm going to try and see if I can make some pretty large ones in here. Just by injecting it into like one size. So... It's not as professional as the uh, chef people, but uh, I don't know, I think it looks pretty alright. Just take a bit of practice. It's very interesting, that's for sure. Alright. So I think that's a little too big for my infuser, so I've got myself like a four inch strainer of sorts. I'll just poke it around a bit there, just make sure it's fully covered. And pull it out. You can see it's kind of, looks like a tumour actually, but it comes out and it's, I mean, you can squeeze it and stuff, but it's liquid in the middle, it's kind of cool. Um, yeah, I guess I don't even necessarily need a strainer. You can just pull them out. Really, it looks like I'm just making bogeys, but really they taste fine. And I think once I change the, the, uh, bubbles and let it sit for a long time it'll look a lot better but and then I'll, I think I might change um, the proportions for sodium alginate and see if it's a little runnier if it work a little better so we'll try that next okay so the last uh, test I wanted to do I used half the dosage of sodium alginate and I mixed it in with some Jones cream soda so uh, and this time I'm not going to use the flavor injector the needle, I'm going to be just using the syringe. So we'll see how much we can get up in there. Looks good. And then you can try varying heights. There we go, that looks a lot better. And just drop it in. It's kind of harder to see since it's clear, but um, they are making little bubbles in there. And then also something I failed to note, it's good to put them in a water bath right afterwards so that it stops the reaction um, and it washes off the calcium chloride so it works a little better um, unless you want like a solid rubbery one. Yeah, so maybe I should use a darker liquid for this, but I'll see once I pull them out with this. You can see them in right there, they're all clear. They look pretty good. So I'll just drop them into my bath. You can't really see them in there. Um, so that's that's something that's really cool. I guess you could make some like clear water and play with that. Um, yeah, try that. Maybe my fuser will work a little better. Here we go. Squishing some of them, but anyways, uh, let's let's test one. And see what it look tastes like. Hmm. That's much better. So I think half a teaspoon works a lot better. And then the soda actually is pretty alright too. But it loses its carbonation in the uh, mixing process. So yeah, that's, uh, that's what I've been doing. So hopefully uh, you enjoy. Alright, so final product. Oop. Yeah, so that's what it looks like. Just looks like caviar. Um, throw that on your ice cream and it's good.